Dialogue Builder for Dynamics 365 gives developers the ability to create simple or complex dialogues and user-driven processes within Dynamics 365. We can see here we've actually created our own closed opportunity screen using Dialogue Builder. And what we've done is mocked this up based on the existing closes one screen, but we've modified some of the fields. So we've removed the competitor lookup because that's not actually relevant for us. And we can make any other adjustments we want to this using Dialogue Builder. Dialogue Builder allows us to customize these dialogues completely, so we can specify whatever fields we want within this dialogue. We can fully customize the look and feel, the size, the width, the height, the buttons that display, what is the title, the description underneath that. Uh, we can even change the color of the text and the buttons if we need to, otherwise these will just default to your system's default theme. Uh, and you'll, you'll notice the fields look very similar to CRM, so it gives your users a seamless experience, just fits in naturally with the flow of CRM. Dialogues work great with the command bar, so whenever you have a button on your command bar that needs to trigger something, uh, you often need to have a pop-up or capture a little bit of information from your users before you fire off a, a Power Automate flow or another action or something else. Often you need to capture a little bit of information from users and it's not easy to do that in Dynamics 365 out of the box. So Dialog Builder makes that really easy for you. Say you have a lead for example um, and you want to generate a link and you want to specify um, an expiry date for that link. With Dialog Builder we can create a custom button uh, and when you click that button we can pop open a dialog and in this case, we're just prompting the user to enter an expiry date. So in this case, for example, when do you want that invite link to expire? So in this case, we've just got a single input field of a date time, and we can say we want to uh, push that a week out, so we give them a bit of time for that to, to, uh, to get that invite done. And then in this example, when we click on generate, in the background, we're firing off an API call to generate that unique link for this lead. And then we're displaying that here in another dialog where the user can copy that out and then send that off to the lead. So that's just a really quick example of capturing some input and then displaying input back to the user uh, and processing that in, in between those two screens. And you'll notice the dialog size and the width and the content has been modified for both of those dialogs to, to really fit uh, and make that look really natural for the user. If we come on over to our organization, uh, we've created a couple of other dialogue examples here. So if, again, if we just come into our actions command bar button that I've added, uh, I've recreated some of these uh, options here. So we've got quick add contact, which is just a, a simple dialogue that allows users to quickly add a contact for this organization. So similar to the quick create, uh, but it's just a really shortened uh, and easy way to enter a contact. And behind the scenes that will trigger off a flow and create a contact for this organization. And what we've also done with this assign button, uh, we've, we've taken the out of the box assign and we've just simplified that a little bit. So in this case, instead of having the previously with the out of the box one, it asks if you want to assign to me or a team. And then if you select team, then it allows you to pick that user or team. So I've simplified that a little bit um, if, and it's now just picking me as the default user. And if we want to pick a different user or team, we've got this option to select an existing user or an existing team. So we've got a little bit more room here with uh, this full sidebar, uh, rather than the out of the box one, which is a little bit cramped if we need to pick a user. So things like this are really easy. You can see we've got a custom icon as well. Um, so we can display that icon next to our uh, title. If we want to specify our own unique icon, we can specify a, a fully custom um, web resource image just to make that dialogue really, really uh, stand out for our users. And finally, we've got a more complex dialogue. We've got this update account. And this is a multi-page dialogue. So it's, it's in this case, we're just taking some of the information from the account and making a little um, wizard step-by-step -step process to make it easier for users to update their account. So we've got a few basic fields regarding the account, so like the name, the industry, and this is using the out-of-the-box industry field, so any options from our industry field show up in this field here as well. And then some other things like the phone number, the parent account, and the primary contact. So if we wanted to change any of these, we can, for example, remove the primary contact 
and then we can just click on next and go to the next page. So the next page in this case is just the, the address. Um, you'll notice we've got a back button now, so we can, um, um, in this example, I'm showing three separate pages, so I can go back and forth between those different pages, um, and our dialog will just automatically refresh with that, with those fields. So all this can be configured really easily within Dialog Builder. Um, it's really easy to just flick between pages and show your inputs uh, on those different pages and pass those values between them. And finally, on our last page, we've got some of our contact preferences. So again, these are all just fields on our account. We're pulling all those default values through from the account um, and any changes to these fields, will um, we're taking those responses and, and making those updates against the account. So when I submit this, behind the scenes, it's gonna take all of those inputs from all three pages and push them through to a Power Automate flow. And you'll see there it's updated and it's actually uh, cleared out the, uh, you can see it's removed the primary contact, which I think was the only change that I made on that one. So really easy to configure and really easy to, to make some quick user processes um, that your users can use to, to make changes and update things or get information from users and uh, fire off to a flow or an action. We also have a full page of Dialog Builder examples, which we've got linked in the video. Uh, so this is just another area where you can see the code behind each of those dialogues and how to create those different dialogues and uh, from varying from simple dialogues to a little bit more complex, including some of the ones that we've just looked at today. There's endless possibilities for what you can do with Dialog Builder. Uh, you really can create any type of dialogue and any type of process anything that really captures input from users and uh, anything that you need to do with that input can be done really easily with Dialog Builder. So if you want to get in contact with us for more information or if you want to start your trial to unlock the possibilities of Dialog Builder, then we look forward to hearing from you.